repetition of program. Uh, dear student, we will continue uh, last class uh, we have studied about site selection method of uh, sanitary line printing. Today we will continue that uh, this one. Uh, dear students, uh, site selection already I told you about that, that is a challenging process, uh, uh, this is a process, okay. That the whole distance, first one is the whole distance, uh, the distance between the site and uh, uh, dumping yard and the city, that distance is uh, very, very important, that the whole distance is very, very important, that should be very far means uh, transportation charges more, okay. And uh, that are land area and volume, okay, land area what we selected, it should come more than 10 year, okay, it should uh, small area is rejected. Okay, so uh, the larger area is required. Okay, uh, and buffer uh, zone between the population, high population is there. We also should avoid that. Okay, steep, there is a steep in the land that also rejected. Okay, steep in the land because uh, waste above that land and uh, if the rainy season it will come down. Okay, that is one of the rejected and water level of the ground, okay, water level in the ground, okay, that also very important. It is a deep, okay, it is a upper level uh, when uh, this uh, waste is dumped above it, when the leachates moves to the aquifer, okay, then it is uh, leachates contain chemicals and uh, toxic substances, toxic materials. So, it is a very, very it, uh, water, drinking water is contaminated. Okay, that is also very important. Okay, uh, environmental uh, this one condition, how the land should be, okay, the condition of the environment, ecological area and land present within the potential area of the land. So, that is also important process in this and uh, irrigation, there is agriculture or uh, the water supply, okay, public private irrigation water supply well it should be near to the site that also rejected, we have to keep in mind risk of uh, water contaminated, if supply water supply is there, okay, that is the source, that is source, okay, that also we are rejecting that, okay, uh, that is the risk of contamination, okay, water will be contaminated. If the uh, dump yard is near to the supply of the water, okay, it may be source or it may be well or anything the leaches may move to the water and it may be contaminated. So, it is also rejected that should be kept in mind while selection of the site. Okay. See, this is also very important landfill area should not be very close to the water bodies, water course dams or anything that is a very, very important. Okay, there is a risk in contamination, okay, contaminate, okay, there will be risk in contamination, this one, okay, dam near the dam or near the river or uh, that may be also affect the, affect the, this hazardous uh, aquatic life, okay, hazardous aquatic life, this is also very, very important, very close to dam, it is rejected where there is a, it may be risk for water bodies and uh, Okay, and uh, there is an, uh, no major power transmission or other infrastructure like sewer, water supply line, there also it is uh, rejected. Okay, where a sewer line is passes there, okay, sewer line is passing or uh, other infrastructure like uh, water supply line, okay, or uh, any power uh, uh, line or anything that also rejected is kept in mind. Why selected? Uh, Okay. Uh, no residential development, any layout, any anything should not be there nearby it. Commercial area water resources. Okay. No residential, it may be further nearby that uh, layout or anything we are doing. That residential development should be not there. Okay. That type of land we have to select. Okay, here uh, fault lines, uh, significant uh, geologic structures, any this one uh, for the moment, any in the holes like in uh, stones there may be fault or uh, there may be the movement of the gas inside, okay, that should be 
not should not should, not, should uh, we are not allowing that to select the okay uh, site okay 300 meter perimeter proposal of the standard okay so that is one of the fault lines in the, uh, this one huh? fact geological structure like a stone you are studying in geology okay there is a gas will move inside that then we go for uh, this one ground water quality should not disturb during site development process monitoring facility of site okay ground water quality may be mentioned okay while constructing a dump yard ground quality quality should not be Mm, disturbed okay and uh, after the construction of dump yard also is water should not be contaminated quality is checked okay quality is checked okay uh, weekly or they will check the water that I will show the drawing what are the uh, water quality uh, monitoring in the this one. then also we will go for uh, area okay municipality responsible for uh, identifying land site land over operating and operation that uh, they have given uh, municipality responsibility government will give municipality respond about that land and uh, identify the land site hand over the operator operations uh, everything the municipality is responsible for that then we go for another site selection uh, this one uh, based on uh, environmental issues any environmental issues is there okay examination of environmental issue that should be based upon the this one then this uh, climatic condition heavy rainy area that also one of the problem okay there is a problem heavy rainy area a uh, soil condition how the soil condition if the clay soil or sandy soil that is also problem okay so many these problems uh, will come to this near the airport or that has also rejected railway station it is rejected it may be a lot of uh, problems okay to selection of uh, this one uh, the landfill site should be near the waste and uh, the waste recycle facility otherwise okay uh, the integral part of the site and uh, this should not be near the okay uh, landfill site uh, should not near the treatment plant also that's also important water treatment plant or uh, okay uh, that is also and uh, so then waste recycling and uh, landfill site should be nearer okay we can uh, separate the waste and segregate the waste and we can throw that then this is should be nearer okay this uh, are completed the uh, okay site selection that is a challenging process for the government uh, direct uh, district commissioner they will give handover to municipality okay there is a lot of objection in this okay uh, public will object other uh, department will object forest department will object and condition of the soil everything that is a challenging process selection of land, very very important process now reaction occurring in landfill okay there are three biological reaction chemical reaction physical reaction in a landfill biological reaction occurs chemical reaction occurs and physical reaction occurs see the reaction occurring in a landfill first one biological aerobic and anaerobic decomposition very important aerobic and anaerobic decomposition that is the fact biological uh, this one chemical uh, uh, dissolution okay evaporation absorption decomposition okay uh, and oxidation uh, reduction this is the one of the chemical okay and physical movement of and settlement of leachate and gases this is also very very important the three reaction uh, this is one is biological aerobic and anaerobic decomposition that one first one okay chemical dissolution okay uh, evaporation absorption decomposition uh, oxidation and reduction this is also one of the important first physical movement and settlement of leachate and gas these are the three reaction occurs inside the landfill i will show the drawing okay these are the three okay see here what are the reaction inside the landfill methane carbon volatile okay organic uh, and this all okay this carbon dioxide will move that all 
it is shown the reaction. What are the reaction inside the landfill? Okay, this is the atmosphere, landfill cover, soil, landfill bodies. Here the reaction take place, all chemical, physical and biological. What I told now, these are the reactions, okay. This all reactions will, okay, will here, you can see here, the main, uh, this is methane, okay, carbon dioxide, volatile, okay, organic. This and carbon dioxide will move. Okay, this is all very dangerous. They are moving out. For that, we have to control the reaction take place inside the uh, this one. Okay, that should be controlled. Okay, all the gases will develop, leachate will develop. Okay, this uh, methane gas, carbon dioxide, everything will move up. Okay, to the atmosphere. That controlling is the next process. Okay, next process is the controlling of the movement of the gases. Okay, you understood this, uh, what are the reaction, how the reaction take place here inside the landfill, okay, biogradation, degradation process and this one, okay. This is the process. Now we go for uh, gas and leachate moment, uh, what are, after the reaction, this gas and leachate moment take place, okay. Here is the waste, okay, final cover. Here gas will be produced, you all know methane gas, carbon dioxide, everything, gas controlling this one and leachate controlling liners, okay, leachate collection pipes here, see here, this is the pipes of the leachate collection, this is the controlling of uh, this one, okay, gas, uh, methane monitoring, this also methane monitoring, this what I told, water, groundwater monitoring. Any problem for the groundwater that also we have to monitor. This is the waste, okay, yellow color, this is the cover, this is the landfill. Uh, this also leachate movement pipes, okay, for controlling leachate system collection. And this is a methane monitoring gas which are producing methane and carbon dioxide, okay. This is the final cover, this is the groundwater, okay, this is the groundwater. Uh, we are checking the groundwater regularly because it may be contaminated. This is the very important. It moves to the aquifer, then all the water will be contaminated. That is the one of the problem. Okay. This is the, uh, the moment. How to control gas and leachate moment? One by one we will go. Gas and leachate moment. How to control? See, under the ideal condition, gas is generated larger landfill for the production. In, in most case, 90 percent of gas volume produced from the decomposition of solid waste and end product and the product is uh, methane and carbon dioxide. This is very important, 90 percent uh, in that uh, after the reaction, the gas will be produced that is methane and this one, okay. Although uh, methane will escape from, uh, to, to the atmosphere, okay, both uh, methane and carbon dioxide have uh, found in a concentration of uh, 40 percent of the lateral distance up to 130 meter of the edge of the landfill, okay. Then uh, vented uh, this uh, uh, into the atmosphere in the uncontrolled manner, methane can accumulate because uh, uh, its specific gravity less than the air below the building other enclosed space close to the sanitary landfill, proper venting uh, CH4 is not be the problem, okay. What is the problem? Methane, if it moves to the atmosphere, what they given, moves to the atmosphere, it is heavier than the air, okay, specific gravity less than the air, specific gravity, sorry, specific gravity less than the air, it will come down, it will come down, okay, that methane gas will come down, it is a cause of problem. We have to control the methane, okay, that is very, very important. Controlling and monitoring the methane is very, very important. See, carbon dioxide about five times as a dense as air, okay, two times dense as uh, uh, um, uh, methane is tend to move towards the bottom of the landfill, okay, that is one of the problem. As a result, concentration of CO in the landfill may be high, okay, for a year, ultimately because of density of carbon dioxide will also move downward through the underlying formation in, 
okay until it reaches the ground water yeah that is also a problem this carbon dioxide may move downward because it is dense than the uh, air and also then than the uh, methane okay it moves downward uh, below the uh, dump yard below the dump yard that is also one of the problem okay that is also one of the problem we are facing in the okay. Uh, because uh, carbon dioxide is readily soluble in H2O, it uh, okay, usually lower the pH value, which turns can increase the hardness and mineral content in the groundwater. Okay, this is also calcium and magnesium stabilization of uh, uh, calcium and when carbon dioxide uh, mixed with water, okay, it lowers the pH it uh, usually lower the pH value. Turns it may increase the hardness of the water, very important hardness and mineral content uh, of the ground water. That is a one of the problem we are aware of. So, controlling of the, these gases and methanes are, is very, very important. Okay. Then, this is two types of what, what I told, what are the problems from the gas, okay, movement of the gas, carbon dioxide, and methane all the problem I told, okay, this is a very, very important. How to control the gas? Two types, one is a well uh, type or uh, it is a vent type or well type, another one is the barrier type, okay, two types are there. Here you can see the gas collection, okay, here vented pipes, okay, here holes in the pipes, okay, and uh, from here gas is developed, okay, gas you know that uh, by the reaction gas, it is collected here, okay. This is the dump yard, okay. Here is the leachate collection system, okay. That also I will show how to uh, control the leachate. Another, this is the gas. These gases are taken out, okay. Here all holes, perforated pipes, okay. These holes, all the gas moves here and it is taken out. This is the one types of the controlling of the gas moment, one type control of gas moment. You can see it, okay. This uh, lateral moment of gas produced la land till can be connected starting the name made material to note, okay, permeable and surrounding the soil, okay. Thickness of the gravel layer should such that it remain continuous even there may be differential setting over the gas, okay. Next one, we vent are often to use the conjunction with the apparatal surface of the vent buried below the grade gravels, okay. Trench, control the downward movement of the gas, okay, accomplished, okay, installing forfugated pipes, gravel layer to the bottom of the land, la uh, landfill. The gas cannot vent it laterally, it, it it may be necessary to okay, install gas wells and vent to pump gas to the, to the atmosphere. See what they are doing, they will uh, put the pipe okay, at the end where the gravel layer, they will put the gravel layer, clay, clay layer, I will show the this one landfill how to control uh, that one in the nest, uh, the layer and above that gravel layer, they will put the perforated pipe all gas will move to that pipe, it will go and go down. There are also semi-permeable membrane is there, clay is there, another, okay, this uh, aggregates they will put, they, they will not allow gas to move downward also, it should come and it is collected, okay. This is one of the process, okay. Another one is the barrier gas control. Here the barrier gas control, barrier means here, okay. Here this is the waste, this one here barrier, okay, it will not allow the moment of the gas to downward, okay, downward to the, uh, it should not be uh, connected, uh, joined to the, with the ground water, okay, that is also important that carbon dioxide if it joins, what I mean I told, it will pro pro increase the hardness of the water and other uh, minerals will be produced. So, these barriers are kept, okay. It, it is the geo permeable, uh, geo um, primary geo membrane liner, okay, and clay liner, secondary geo membrane liner, 
okay secondary clay liner okay these are the okay first see how many primary geo membrane liner is there one second one primary clay liner they will put the clay okay another uh, secondary geo membrane layer see the layer here you can see the layer different layers below the solid waste uh, dump yard below the solid waste dump yard different layers one is primary okay a geo membrane layer after that clay layer is there another second geo membrane layer after that clay layer then aggregate they will put okay this is the process of uh, barrier type they won't allow any gases to move downward three two three layers are there primary geo membrane layer okay secondary geo membrane layer primary clay layer secondary clay layer liner this they it won't move below the okay gas to carbon dioxide main carbon dioxide that will move to the water ground water and it will contaminate okay this is the type of barrier type gas control okay movement of the land gas to the adjacent soil of a control by the constructing barrier material okay impermeable than the soil okay see there are different layers so it may be i uh, use uh, okay sodium ka uh, sealant that are uh, available use of uh, okay betanoate ellides uh, carbonate sodium carbon silica silicates phosphorates okay pyrophosphorate and polymer rubber latex etc compacted clay is the most we are using the clay okay clay liner and geo membrane layer okay two types of layers primary and secondary layers okay thickness depend upon the type of okay, degree controlled required thickness range 0.5 to 1.2 pi mm thickness of the clay layers okay it is tested okay clay also tested okay now gas control over two types uh, we know or two types one is the well type and uh, taking the gas from the vented pipes and uh, another one is the barrier we are uh, covering the Uh, below the uh, drainage uh, this one sorry solid waste where two layers are there clay layers primary clay layers uh, okay and uh, geo membrane layers and uh, secondary clay layers uh, secondary geo membrane that way we are controlling by barriers and well type now this is a very important leachate leachate how uh, what is leachate is uh, when inside the dump yard there is a reaction take place already to, i told physical a uh, chemical biological and physical reaction the heat is produced from there some water will weep okay it will come out that contains all the chemical toxic okay poisonous uh, water uh, it all uh, any chemical reaction take place that is uh, very very dangerous if it moves to the ground water okay total water ground water or aquifer total water will be contaminated that's the one of the problem okay control for the leachate we are having th th same as the layers okay uh, leak det uh, detection system okay this is the ground water clay liner uh, synthetic liner okay three layers that what i told okay first is a primary uh, uh, geo membrane liner synthetic liner another one is the clay liner primary secondary uh, synthetic liner clay liner this won't allow the leachate movement of leachate to the ground water if it moves okay ground water will be contaminated okay this is the waste okay a dump yard here uh, leachate will be produce the movement of leachate some pipes are kept that pipes are connected to the one pond leachate collection tank i will show that okay all the leachate comes here okay leachates will come here and it is connected to the one pond leachate okay that pond i will show this is the uh, this is the leachate okay this is the dump yard here is the liner what i told clay liner and synthetic liner okay here leachate movement then there is one pond for that okay this is the pond all the leachate will move here okay from the dump yard side they will keep uh, connect one pond 
okay, that leachate will move here. Otherwise, if it moves directly to the water, total water is contaminated. That's so, this is the pond we will keep. This treatment is done by the atmospheric also, okay, sunlight, aeration treatment and other treatment also done and they are left outside, okay. That is the process. If rain water comes before that, they will treat. Okay, that is one of the major, uh, this one leachate is the one of the major problem. Okay, that collect, it should be collected in a pond, it should be treated, then it may be left outside. That is one of the very, very important. If it moves to the aquifer or uh, any uh, this one uh, surface water, it will contaminate the water, it will uh, spoil the aquatic uh, life okay aquatic animal aquatic plant everything that so leachate is very very dangerous and it should be collected pro properly and uh, treated properly okay leachate uh, are forfeited through the underlying strata many of the chemical and biological constant originally con okay contain okay uh, in it it will be remove the filtering and uh, supportive action of the matter composing the strata Okay. Uh, general extent, the action depend upon the characteristics of soil, especially day content. Okay. Uh, because of the potential risk involved in the allowing the leachate to propagate to the groundwater, best practice call for the examination or contamination. Okay. Ultimately, it may be in a collector treat the leachate better to treat the leachate, okay, so it may move to the, in rainy season, it may move to the, okay, ground water or surface water. So, uh, treating the leachate in the pond is very, very important, okay. Use, uh, use of a day is based on the, uh, okay, favored method of reducing the, eliminating the forfugation of the leachate. Member line also been used, what I told. Uh, they are uh, they are expensive request core uh, to uh, they will not damage during the filling the operation yeah F while filling you should not damage that membrane that's very they are expensive so uh, they, we have to take care of that A equally important controlling the movement of leachate uh, elimination surface of water infiltration which also major contribute total volume of the leachate that is also one, it should not move, already I explained. With the use of uh, impermeable uh, clay layers, okay, clay layers, uh, uh, okay, surface 1 to 2 percent uh, adequate drainage, surface uh, infiltration can be controlled effectively. Generalize the rating of the stabilizer of the various types of the soil use in a landfill cover. That is also very important, okay. Now we finish uh, how to control the gas in the uh, solid waste management and also controlling the leachate how already I, I explained now. Now we are designing of uh, sanitary landfill, okay, designing of sanitary landfill, okay, access, okay, there should be road in the landfill site, temporary road, uploading uh, this, uh, areas temporary road, road access road, okay, this is uh, in the landfill site, okay. Cell design and construction will vary depend upon the terrain of landfilling method, whether the gas removed, okay, cell design and construction will vary depend on the terrain and landfilling method or whether the gas removed, okay, another uh, design criteria, covering material okay should be available maximum use of site earth earth material or soils so we are using uh, one uh, meter cube of the cover material required four to five meter solid waste mixed with the sealant to control the surface uh, infiltration in some design okay intermediate cover is not used okay we are using majorly we are using the soil okay uh, that nearby has cover uh, this site okay earth material nearby earth material easily available we are mixing uh, covering the material that is the that is the ratio uh, with how much uh, uh, waste is there how much covering we have to do that is one of the very important drainage system should be uh, drainage ditches divert surface under uh, runoff uh, 
mentioned one to two grade of uh, finished fill to prevent the ponding. Okay, drainage proper drainage system should be kept uh, in a, for the moment of the leachate. That is the very important side also. Okay, that connect to the pond. Okay, another equipment required. Uh, varying with the size of the uh, this one landfill, we need a bulldozers, we need a, okay, uh, it may be rollers, okay, vehicles uh, depend upon the uh, equipment required, okay. Uh, fire protection, it is uh, also very dangerous, methane gases is moving, that is the uh, fire protection is very, very important because uh, uh, outlet uh, is marked clearly proper cell separation, prevent continued burn to the combustion. This is a one of the, it catches the fire during the summer season. This is one of the process. Groundwater production, uh, groundwater, okay, the leachate controlling uh, groundwater, we are, should not uh, allow the groundwater, uh, leachate connection with the groundwater. It will, okay, it will contaminate, okay, salient of the leachate, groundwater monitoring. Land area should uh, be large enough, it may be 5 to 10 year or more year, okay, minimum 10 year it should be, now we are selecting the minimum 10 year that land area should be for dumping. In a city, it is very difficult to get near the city, a far away transportation charge is more. So this is one of the, okay, at least one year, minimum one year, okay, preferably 5 to 10 year. If it uh, won't available, minimum one year and it may be. 5 to 10 years also. Land filling method, okay, selection of method vary with the terrain, available cover, it may be soil or anything nearby so available cover, okay. Litter control, okay, uh, moment of uh, crews and uh, this one, uh, rats, okay, birds, everything, okay, French, uh, fencing is done. Okay, animal cows should not enter or animal should not enter, will disturb, disturb the feelings, that one, that uh, we have should use the fencing at the uploading area, okay. That is also very important while designing. Operation plan, okay, uh, with or without co-disposal treatment plant sludges and recovery of gases, okay, we have, we have to plan operational plan for a uh, all this already I told. Spread compaction, spread and compact waste is 6.6 meter okay, layers, okay. This one 0.6 meter layers, spread and compact of the waste. Uploading area keeps small generally, uh, generally under 30 meter, okay. Uploading area keeps small generally under 30. This is uh, one of the design criteria, design uh, this one, okay. Now the numerical problem, last numerical uh, problem I will, uh, okay, determine land area required for municipality population of 50,000 given that, okay, solid waste uh, 350 grams per son per day, see, 50,000 population is there in one area, one person minimum 350 grams, okay, compacted density of landfill is uh, 504 kg per meter cube, average depth of the compact uh, solid waste is 3 meter. Please see, 50,000 population per person, 300 grams of uh, solid waste per person, okay, 300 grams of uh, solid waste per person will uh, throw that, okay, okay, the 300 grams, okay, compacted density of the landfill 504 kg per meter cube, every depth of the landfill is 3 meter, okay, now the calculation, okay, solution, calculation, total amount of solid waste generated in day, okay, total amount of solid waste generated in day, that is total amount of solid waste generated population into per capita, okay, population into per capita, now solid waste generation is 50,000 into 350 that is okay into uh, 7 uh, 17.5 into 10 to the power this is the okay please see here 50,000 population 350 grams okay 17.5 density 
okay this one then okay this the volume is total volume is okay this one okay into 504 we will get the volume volume of the waste okay this see the formula of volume of the total amount of solid waste by compacted density compacted density okay next we move to this one landfill area this is 11.57 meter okay 11.57 meter this is the how much area is required okay for that we have to okay now second problem okay estimate the production of uh, carbon dioxide and methane during the anaerobic decomposition of acetic acid ch3 coh this is a very important problem okay how the production of co2 ch4 okay this is the one of the very important okay now this problem i will explain okay the formula for acetic acid is this you have to know the formula okay this you have to know we should know how a b c we want the value a is 2 b is 4 c is 2 and d is okay if you know this formula okay for the acetic acid a how a comes okay how b4 and c okay here carbon okay here carbon a is the carbon how much in this 1 2 carbon 2 a is 2 okay b what is b b is the hydrogen okay that is how much here 3 plus 1 4 b is 4 c is oxygen okay c is oxygen how much 2 oxygen is 2 uh, no sorry uh, 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 this one carbon is okay 2 uh, c is 2 sorry oxygen is 2 here oxygen sorry oxygen is 2 and nitrogen 0 okay nitrogen no nitrogen okay carbon is how much 2 okay and hydrogen how much uh, 4 okay oxygen is how much 2 okay nitrogen is d nitrogen is how much 0 from this we have to calculate putting the value we will get okay uh, the molecular weight uh, are 58 uh, equal to 1.1 .1 into 16 into 1 into 14 so how much kg of methane how much kg of carbon dioxide produced by this formula we will get after getting the value from here we will put the value okay balance equation molecular weight are 58 into 1 into 16 14 hence the 1 kg of acetic acid produce 0.2 okay uh, kg of uh, okay and 0.7 kg of co2 this is the answer okay uh, dear students uh, overall uh, you have uh, came to know that uh, this one uh, uh, composting and sanitary landfilling okay composting are different uh, types are there uh, to uh, this one aerobic and anaerobic okay uh, aerobic with the air anaerobic without uh, uh, air okay uh, so many compacting mechanical compacting uh, uh, mechanical composting and vermicomposting uh, um, and bangalore method so many types uh, they are doing the composting nowadays okay vermicomposting you know, is a very important composting and a uh, lot of uh, okay factors affecting the composting and everything and also sanitary landfill how to fill the waste after transporting and collection is easy dumping is uh, the waste is uh, very difficult lot of objection land availability is not there lot lot of problems are there so uh, this uh, dump, uh, sanitary landfilling controlling leachate controlling the gases also important uh, this one uh, dear student my suggestion making in your house uh, you uh, you collect the, uh, this organic waste and uh, make the manure from the that will give, give uh, worms or anything you put the worms uh, in that uh, in 10 to 15 20 days you will get the manure by the organic waste in your house or kitchen small bin okay kitchen waste you put that it can be used for your gardens or pot or anywhere nearby okay it can be used uh, by the our prime minister 
Modi's uh, uh, sir dream is Swachh Bharata and uh, smart city. Uh, you have to help for that. Uh, thank you.